with Kurt von Fink. Is that right? That is. Just and like Rat Fink, but spelled differently. Well, it's von Fink instead of Rat Fink, but you well, know. Um, elementary so, school was tough. Uh, I bet. Yeah. My, my maiden name was Scott. It always got turned into snot. <sighs> I understand. Um, uh, where can we find you online? Uh, you can find me, uh, my, my company's website is askmonty, A-S-K-M-O-N-T-Y dot O-R-G. Um, my personal website is maneptok.com, M-N-E-P-T-O-K dot com. Uh, and if my blog is linked from there, I'm not a huge microblogger, but I am on Identica as Maneptok, M-N-E-P-T-O-K. So, Monty Program app? A-B. A-B, okay. It's the Finnish equivalent of Inc., uh -huh. And here in the States, we are, in fact, Monty Program, Inc. Okay. And what does Monty Program, Inc. do? Um, Monty Program was founded by Monty Videnius. He's the original author of the MySQL open source database. It's probably the most popular database uh, being used right now on the web. Um, Monty founded that company back in the 90s and uh, grew the company quite successfully. It became a publicly traded company and was acquired by Sun Microsystems. And Monty put in maybe a year or so tenure working under Sun, was unhappy with the way things were being developed, with the way the community was being handled, and so he decided to form his own company to focus on a more community developed version of the MySQL code base. So that's what we're working on. We're working on a, a fork of MySQL called MariaDB. Uh, it's going to be 100% free to use, open source. There won't be dual licensing. There's no enterprise edition that you have to pay for. Um, the project is up and running now on launchpad.net. Um, <clears throat> and our hope is to take MySQL and bring it back to the community, make it much more community focused type of development model with real community participation, uh, an, an engaged uh, group of paid developers paid by Monty program, and also community developers who feel like the work they, does, they, do, they do for the for the project really matters, that they're being listened to and their patches are being accepted in that a they're, timely way. They're a part of it, they're not exactly. just tinkering away. At the code. Exactly, and, and that they're a valuable part of it, mm -hmm. that it's not just someone paying lip service saying, oh yes, we want the community to help develop this, but then no one ever really returns emails, no one really follows up with questions. Uh, we want to turn that around. That's been sort of a sticking point with MySQL in recent years, and so we're trying to fix some of those perceptions. So you kind of want the open source humanity side of it as well. and not Exactly, exactly. And as part of that, Monty hired me as his uh, chief community and communications officer. So he actually has someone, uh, I was one of his first hires, to help make sure the community is, is a strong focus of the company and that we don't lose the fact that without our developer community, the unpaid developers, we won't be successful. And are you here at OS Bridge in that capacity? I am. I am. Monty thought it was important to come and support a Open Source Bridge. Um, I lived in Portland for a number of years, so I'm always happy to get back to PDX whenever I can. Um, and then because OSCon moved this year, uh, and and Portland was left sort of scrambling, wondering what they were going to do for free and open source software conferences, mm -hmm. it's important to support these initial efforts. Um, especially because this is a silicon forest, right? There's a lot of open source development that goes on in and around Portland uh, and Vancouver too. Um, in the Portland and Vancouver metropolitan area. There you go. Um, so it'd be a shame for a, a, a vibrant community like this to lose a, an important conference and have nothing there to fill the void. So we're really happy to see Open Source Bridge taking off and it looks like it's a good success. I think they did a really great job of stepping up and. Yeah. making sure that we still have something to, to be, depend on. Um, I'm not even going to attempt this word. Uh, what the is? Salmiaki. Salmiaki. If you've ever attended... It's so easy to say once you say it. <laughs> once you say it. Yeah, all Finnish words look like that. Um, if you've ever attended a conference where Monty Videnius is present, you'll be exposed to salmiaki. Mm -hmm. Salmiaki is vodka with very, very strong black licorice added to it. There's a type of black licorice in the Scandinavian countries that translates to Turkish pepper. Mm -hmm. It's actually got like sodium chloride in it. <laughs> it's really strong. I mean, what, what habanero peppers are to jalapeno peppers, this licorice is to Twizzlers. Mm -hmm. It's the strongest dark black licorice you'll ever have. 
and you take the candies, you crush them up, you put it in vodka, you let it sit for a few hours, chill it, and you end up with black licorice flavored vodka. And Monty's famous for this. Anytime you go to a conference with him, he'll, you'll be offered salmiaki, black vodka. I don't have any with me here today, I'm sad to say. She's, Christine's very sad. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm not sure I could handle the licorice. Oh, I'm sure you could. No, no, I don't think so. <clears throat> my, my favorite finish uh, anything is, is finished cardamom bread. Okay. So, yeah. I'm not sure I can handle I like cardamom. I'm not sure I can handle the licorice. All right. Well, if you were offered a choice between oh, the black vodka and reindeer meat, which would you choose? Um, I would choose the black vodka. Okay. Yes. Okay. There I'm we go. I'm very certain. There we go. So, and, and I turn the tables on you. Now <laughs> I'm asking the questions. <laughs> ah, that's always fun. Um, would you like a hug? Yeah, I would. That'd be awesome. Thanks. I don't make the cards. <laughs> yeah, obviously not. Otherwise, you would have never <laughs> volunteered to hug me. Are you kidding me? And is it true that I, I, I have this problem as well? Is it true that you have no inside voice? I can't believe you asked that question. This interview's <laughs> over. Bye. Bring me some vodka. Sign the, sign the board before you run off, though. Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the hug. <laughs>